Statin gaslighting myth number five, statins cause memory loss and confusion. Hi, my name's Brian. I practiced medicine for 30 years and left that system to become a health coach. And we're doing a deep dive into a list of eight misconceptions and myths listed by another doctor on another platform. The answer to this myth from the doctor is that there is no evidence that statins cause any memory loss, confusion, or cognitive decline. Review of the literature on this one gives you a mixed bag. There appears to be a short-term memory loss that is reversible for those taking statins. So the recommendation from doctors is if you get memory loss, you should stop the statin. But there is evidence that statins are somewhat protective uh, from developing Alzheimer's dementia, probably from their mild anti-inflammatory effect. Recent research into the development of Alzheimer's dementia has come up with a term called type 3 diabetes, which is not really a medical diagnosis. But we know that type 2 diabetics have a higher risk of dementia and insulin resistance creates inflammation and they're thinking that is contributing to the development of Alzheimer's dementia. There's also uh, a genetic component for those that carry the ApoE4 gene. Doesn't mean they're going to get dementia, but they're at higher risk. Your brain synthesizes the cholesterol as it needs because cholesterol does not cross the blood-brain barrier. Glucose, however, does dependent on glucose transporters that are co-transported with sodium. So glucose does get in your brain. Cholesterol by dry weight is about 25% of the brain's weight. The review of that myth in the literature then shows that there is evidence for a hypothesis that statins cause short-term memory loss that's reversible, but it is not involved with cognitive decline and is somewhat protective against Alzheimer's dementia. If you want to reverse the environmental factors that can lead to a higher risk of Alzheimer's dementia, get control of your insulin resistance and your type 2 diabetes, both of which are reversible by simply paying attention to what, when, why, and how often you eat. And if you need help to do that, Contact me through my email, text me, or go to my website, www.healthwithoutrisk.com. We'll continue this with statin myth number six coming up soon. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.